Welcome to Train Signal. I'm Ross Bagurdis, and this is the introduction to OSPF, or Open Shortest Path First. Now, OSPF is a really robust, sophisticated, complex, scalable, dynamic routing protocol that's very heavily used in industry. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It uses some really cool terminology to describe it, but that's not why it's my favorite. Uh, we can get some really outstanding performance out of it, and it's not too complicated to understand, even though it's an incredibly sophisticated protocol. One of the challenges we run into as newbies in data networking is that we have to find a way to introduce these dynamic routing protocols without overwhelming you with all of the nitpicky details about how these routing protocols work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you the bare bones basics to introduce you to OSPF so we can have kind of an understanding of how it works, but what you will get out of it is you'll get an understanding of how to configure it and verify its operation. Later on in another video when we do advanced OSPF, I'll show you more information about how OSPF works on a bit more of a detailed level. For the time being, let's dive into the basics of OSPF operation and let's see if we can get a dynamic routing protocol working in our lab so that we can ping all of our devices and we then do not need to configure our static routes. 